Hey guys, welcome to the very first video in a series of videos in August. If you haven't catched my last vlog, I made an announcement that I'm going to be doing a video every single day in the month of August. I just thought it would be really fun to kind of refresh and kick off my channel um, since I kind of was inconsistent and not as focused. Um, when we were buying a house, but now that we're in our house and we have a lot going on, I just thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with us in our journey for everything. So one of the new things going on is that Leah is starting kindergarten, which is super exciting. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my homeschool videos in the past, I did do a back to school prep series last year for preschool, but this year we are in full kindergarten school mode. So I thought it would be fun to take you school supply shopping. What even homeschoolers need some fun, new, fresh school supplies. Um, and I just remember when I was little starting off the school year with those fun and exciting school supplies. So I am at target. Um, I'm at a new remodeled target. So I'm hoping that they have everything like all the school supplies, because if not, that would really stink. So I'm going to check out all, what target has and then I will end the video with a haul of what I purchased. So stay tuned till the end because I will be showing you what I buy um, at the end. So come along with me to Target and go school supply shop. These are really neat for like a homeschool, um, if you're trying to set up a homeschool room and it's in your house and you want to keep it neutral, I think these are really great to hang up like flashcards or what you're learning or even artwork. I really like that. Whole scheme, I think these black bins are really neat with like some wood tones. I think that would look really nice. This line of stuff is super fun and cute. And I feel like pretty reasonably priced. I mean, a little bit more expensive than the plain ones. But I think they're super cute. Looks like Target is carrying the Happy Planner stuff too, which is pretty neat. I know a lot of homeschoolers use them and they have the teacher planner. That one's really cute. They have a couple teacher planner additions, so. If you are looking, I know last year Michael sold out of the teacher happy planners. Oh, and they have some really cute stickers and stuff. I like getting them from Michael's because they have the coupons, but if you are having a hard time finding them, Target has them.
the haul portion of this video. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up for the kids. Um, a lot of the stuff I got is kind of for like the first day of school. I always like to do holiday tables for the kids and I thought it would be really fun to do like a first day back to school table. So I picked up some stuff for that and then I picked up some stuff that I'm going to be using throughout the year and um, things like that. There were a few things that I had on my list that I could not find so I'm going to be turning to good old Amazon for those things. Um, some of the things I was looking for that I couldn't find were uh, mini erasers like chalkboard, dry erase erasers. I wanted small ones. Uh, Amazon does have some. They have some really fun emoji ones so I'm just going to get those. Um, and then I was also looking for pencil grippers. Uh, they have those grippers that teach you like the proper way to hold a pencil and I always found those really helpful when I was a kid. So I wanted to get those and they did not have them so I'll be ordering those as well. So let me go ahead and show you the things I have so far. I did also order wood letters. I'm going to be making my own Montessori letters. Um, so I ordered wood letters from Amazon as well as a few other uh, little things. But let me go ahead and show you what I got from Target. Okay, so in the first batch of things I got, like I said, I'm going to be doing like a, I'm going to be setting up the table. You guys will see it in another vlog, but um, it's going to be like their back to school presents. So I got like a few special things. So for Hunter, who is two, will be three in September. So we're doing pre-K three with him. Um, I got him Silly Scent color pencils. Then for Leah, who is obsessed with markers, I got her Silly Scent markers. I thought that would be like a fun thing. And then, like I said, I'm gonna be decorating for back to school. So I'm gonna be putting this on the chalkboard. It's just like a banner. And this was from the dollar spot. And I figured I could use this every year. And then I needed like a tape dispenser. And our theme is like black and wood tones and those types of things, so I thought the black tape dispenser would look good. Um, and then I got pencil sharpener. The kids have never used pencils. They've only used crayons, color pencils, and markers. So I thought it would be a good idea to get a pack of just like regular number two pencils. And I already got them sharpened uh, because it's only two of them. So I got like a good wood ruler. And then I wanted them each to have their own box for their supplies. So I got them each like a black box. And these were from the Target Dollar Spot. Then I want to do a reward chart for them. I haven't found one that I like yet, so I'm still looking. But I wanted to go ahead and get some stickers. I also, whenever they complete work, I like to put stickers on their pages. So I went ahead and picked these up from the Dollar Spot a dollar each then like I said I'm decorating their table so I picked up these tins and I'm gonna put something in there I don't know what yet um, but I thought these were really cute and those were a dollar each I also got erasers I always get the seasonal erasers because we use them as math manipulatives so these were a dollar and they're just like apples then I got just like regular erasers for us to use uh, I went through her curriculum last night and we needed note cards, so I got blank note cards for her curriculum. I also got these pouches, which is part of her curriculum as well. I needed these pouches. Then we have a sliding glass door right next to our homeschool space, so I thought these would be really fun to decorate with. And then for all of my like teacher supplies, I thought this crate would be great for that. This was from the Dollar Spot for $3. And the last thing I grabbed were a bunch of folders and notebooks. Um, Leah, I've mentioned, um, or I will be mentioning in a few videos, that she's really gotten into drawing. So I'm finding like pieces that I always leave construction paper out for the kids to, for them to grab. And I keep finding papers everywhere. And I, I feel bad throwing them away. But I also want her to have a spot for them and paper of her own. And then once the folder's filled up, then she can pick what she wants to get rid of. And it's not like her looking at it is like, Mom is throwing out my stuff. So I figure she can choose what she wants to get rid of in her folder. So, of course, if I'm getting Leah's stuff, though, then I need to get stuff for Hunter. And um, so I got them each like a notebook set and folder for their own personal use and then one for homeschool time.
So for Hunter, he is obsessed with superheroes. So I got him the superhero folder and notebook. And I got him the Incredibles notebook and matching folder. Then for Leah, I got her this like glittery. I thought this was so cute. This is the notebook and the folder. And then she's obsessed with unicorns. So I got her this folder. I was looking for the matching notebook, but our Target, this Target that I went to was really picked over with their school supplies. So I actually had a hard time finding a lot of the things I was looking for. Um, they were out of a lot of stuff, but I ended up going with this, which has uh, unicorns and just different fun phrases and stuff on it. I thought that would be fun, and I felt like they kind of go. So um, that is what I picked up. Um, I definitely wanted to get a few more things. They have like really cute pencil pouches, like they had unicorn pencil pouches, and they were so cute, but they were $5. I just couldn't bring myself to spend $5 on a pencil pouch. Um, probably if I hadn't spent so much money on curriculums for educating our kids, then maybe I would have sprung for the pencil pouch. But since we do have to buy our own curriculum, I decided that this was good enough for this year. So that is what we bought. Like I said, I did pick up some things from Amazon as well. Um, but this is like the majority of the stuff other than our curriculum. So let me know what type of things you guys, do you guys go school supply shopping? This is the first year I've done like actual um, like notebooks and folders. Last year I did buy some resources but not actual like school supplies, I feel like. Um, so it was pretty fun to pick out those things. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys do if you're a homeschool family, if you go to school, and uh, what type of things do you guys get? Do you get the extra fun stuff or do you just stick to the list that teachers ask for? If you're a homeschool family, do you even get the stuff? What do you do? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.